you need two things to start your breakdown in DH costume. The first, character names and numbers from the AD department. The second, a locked script in Final Draft or a converted screenwriter script from the script coordinator. Please contact tech support at scriptysystems.com if you have any non-Final Draft scripts. Let's begin by creating a file. Open DH Costume and tap the Add button. A prompt will open asking you to enter a name for the new production. Tap the File folder and DH Costume will open the project and bring you to the page where you will add the characters and their numbers. Tap the Add button beneath the blank characters list and add all characters by character number. Be careful to spell the character names exactly as they are spelled in the script. Once you have entered all your characters, you are then ready to import your script. Open the Mail app on your iPad and navigate to the email that contains the final draft script from your script coordinator. Touch and hold your finger on the script. Tap DH Costume. When prompted, choose Add to Folder. Tap the Add Revision button under the Revisions list and rename the default title. Select the script that you wish to import and tap Import Script. Your script has now been imported, and you are ready to break it down into continuity days and changes. Tap Scene 1. You will notice that scene headings have already been extracted during the importation process. You will also see that the speaking characters are listed for you in the middle of the page, and the script itself is available for you to read in the lower right-hand section of your screen. You are now ready to fill in the script day in the chronology line. If already provided by production, fill in the information you have for the chronology line. Scenes are organized into these five tabs listed across the middle right side of this window. At this point, DH Costume should be open to the Characters tab. The import process will have already identified all speaking characters for you. To add characters to the scene, tap the Add button on the right side of the Characters list. Select each character that you want to add by tapping the character's name in the list. Then, for each character, choose Speaking or Non-Speaking. To add the highlighted characters to the scene, tap Add to Scene. To add a change number, simply touch the plus button to the right of the character and a Change Selector window will open for the selected character. If the change required for the scene isn't on the list, tap the Add Change button. You can now give the change a number and fill in any of the tag notes that you would like to add. You can add as much detail as you are ready to at this point, then tap the Done button. Tap the change you would like to add for that scene. Once selected, the change will highlight blue and the items in that change will be displayed. When you are ready to add the change to that scene, tap the Save Selection button. Tap the Extras tab, then tap the Add button to the right of the Extras list. You can then enter your extras by extra type. DH Costume will then create, number, and remember these extras. Proceed as you did in the Character section to add changes for the extras. To add a slug, tap the Slug tab and write a brief summary of the scene.
skip the Adding Shoot Days tab until you have received a shooting schedule from the AD department. Use the Questions tab to keep track of any questions you might have for your designer or production as they pertain to costume continuity. These questions will appear in scene order on the last page of your costume breakdown. Tap the Characters button in the lower left to display the main character window, then tap the Tag Him button. If using a Dymo printer, please note that you must first download the free Dymo printer application from our website. Choose to print the front, back, or both sides of the labels, and choose your printer. If not yet in the Characters window, tap the Characters button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Then, tap the Edit button for a character in the list. Select the gender, and a list of default sizes will be added to the Sizes list. Then, enter in all pertinent sizing information. Let's share the breakdown and your file with your designer. Tap the Reports button and select the Character Costume Breakdown. Tap the Preview button to preview your report. Tap the Email button to create an email with your costume breakdown attached in PDF format. To share your file with your designer, simply close the file and you will then return to the home page. Tap the Remote tab on the top middle of your project folder. You will then be presented with a Remotes window. Tap the Add Recipient button. Then, name a file copy for your designer. Tap the Create Remote File button and choose whether or not to include budget information. Choose either Mail or Dropbox from the Share menu. The remote file is now ready for your designer to fill in the closets, budgets, and start filling the changes. Please remind your designer to work only in these fields and that you will input breakdown notes for the scene. As shooting begins, you can also create remote files for your on-set costumers where they will enter their photos and continuity notes. The design team can now fill the actors' closets, build changes, adjust budgets, and add fitting photos. Tap the desired character to see a list of that character's closet items and changes. Tap the Add to Closet button under the closet and you can begin to enter items. There are fields for quantity to indicate where duplicates are needed as well as a description box. DH Costume easily allows users to switch between character changes and character closets. From the Character screen, tap the character for whom you'll be adding changes. You may also tap a change to add items for a particular change. Tap Add in the Closet section, and on pop-up, type a title such as Shirt or Dress. Tap Quantity Required. If no value is entered, one will automatically fill the field.
Tap the Master Photos tab and either capture photos with the iPad or import photos from your camera app. Once photos are loaded into DH Costume, a designer may enter in descriptions and flag photos as fitting photos. When the AD department provides you with the shooting schedule, you can quickly apply the schedule to your file. Tap the Production button in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. This will open a blank shoot days list. Tap the Add Shoot Date button beneath the Shoot Days list and enter your day and date. Tap the Add Scene button beneath the lower right-hand corner of the Scheduled Scenes list and then select a scene from the pop-up list. Be sure to select the scenes in shooting order. As you prepare for shooting, it's a good idea to get the remote file back from your designer. You can then sync the remote file with your main file. With your project file open in DH Costume, double tap the Home button to reveal your mail app. Then, open the email from your designer and tap the remote file. When prompted, select Open in DH Costume. You will be returned to the DH Costume app, so tap the Close button to close your project. Then, tap the Remote tab on your Project folder and tap Sync Remote File to update the master file. If there are fields that have been filled in by more than one user, for example, the Costume Supervisor and the Designer, DH Costume will create a brief summary detailing these conflicts. Select the Production tab, double-check your changes for the day, and print out any reports or bag tags. Be sure to close your current file and go back to the main DH Costume desktop. Tap the Remote tab in the top middle of the project folder. Then, add and name your remote files for all onset costumers. Email or Dropbox this new remote file, onset costumer, for whom it was created by tapping the Remote File button. Be sure to remind your onset costumer to only attach notes in the onset subsection of the change window. They should also remember to attach and label all their photos prior to resending their work back to the costume supervisor. Open the remote file sent to you from the costume supervisor. You are now ready to photograph and make your continuity notes in the onset note section for your character slash characters. Remember to limit your work to these areas to avoid extra work for your supervisor. Photographs may be taken with the iPad, iPhone, or other camera. The easiest way to get your photos into DH Costume is to use the onboard iPad camera. All iPad photo features, such as Touch to Expose or Touch to Focus, are built directly into the DH Costume Photos Capture window. iPhone users with a shared Apple ID on both their iPad and iPhone may turn on PhotoStream on both devices and easily access iPhone photos from their iPad. Photos may be emailed to the iPad and saved to the photo app, or taken with their traditional digital camera and accessed via Camera Connection Kit. Photos may also be pushed to a shared Dropbox folder and added to files as time permits. As your onset costumers finish their work, they should either email or Dropbox you their remote files. Be sure the project is open in DH Costume. Open the email from your onset costumer and tap the remote file. When prompted, select Open in DH Costume.
close the project, then tap Remote Tab on the Project folder and tap the Sync Remote File button to update your master file. When the remote files return to you from the onset costumer, they will have pictures attached. To choose the photos that will be printed in the book, select a character, then select a change. Finally, tap Master Photos. Tap the Add button beneath the Master Photos list to add a new master photo. Identify the photo as Established or Detail, then tap the Continuity button to select an onset photo. The default setting for all scenes is not started. You can mark a scene as complete or started by doing the following. Tap the script button and select the scene in the list on the left. Tap the button next to status. Each tap advances the status. The first tap, started, will highlight the scene yellow. The second tap, completed, will highlight the scene green. and the third tap goes back to Not Started. DH Costume allows you to print out the character chain sheets for your final book. To print out the chain sheets by character, simply tap the Character button in the lower left-hand corner. Tap the character for which you'd like to print out your chain sheets, then tap the Reports button. Select the Chain Sheets report, then simply preview, email, or print the Chain Sheets. This completes the tutorial. Thanks for watching. For questions, suggestions, and to subscribe to our newsletter, write to techsupport at scriptysystems.com.